in about you know PCDC. I just wanted uh, uh, Supervisor Pine left, but he's part of BCDC team, uh, which is in San Francisco, and I have people from BCDC right here. So Mr. Casa was one of the agencies who was selected to be part of the environmental justice review team with BCDC. And we provided some recommendations. Probably you know uh, the topics, it was public taxes, shoreline protection, mitigation of environmental impacts, and this is going to be finalized on the September. So we have a preview review on July 16, and they go, they're going to accept most of the recommendations that the community did. We were five community agencies, and I think I was selected because I don't shut up, I just keep talking. <laughs> it was probably one of the things, because you know, the other agencies were like uh, really experts in environmental justice, but in the process I did learn a lot about, about environmental justice, and I put my two cents there. So, what we included was touching social vulnerable communities. Like, we need to consistently provide meaningful engagement in all project stages. For me, meaningful engagement means that we need to be at the table. The community needs to be at the table. Every time, all the time. And like you say, who is the expert in the community? We are. Yeah, we are the experts. We live there, we work there, we know the community. The other thing is that, uh, so, we add this to all the community's interest parties for projects. So, let me explain what it was for me. So, language access. In all the signs that are there, we have a threshold in San Mateo County that language access there right here. We have Spanish and we have Tagalog. And we don't have signs in the shoreline in the Spanish or in Tagalog. So that was for me, education for the youth. That was a really big part of that. So we keep working with that, so, you know, and we want to try to do it. I have just two minutes of my time, so. <laughs> So, this is what we learned, this is what Nostra Casa is. We provide with, uh, we partner with trusted CBOs to provide culturally and linguistic competent programs in our community. Let me tell you a little about it. It's a big project that is going on in East Palo Alto. And we got invited to be at the table. But when we got invited to be at the table, they told us, I'm sorry, but it's not funding for non-profit organizations here. And it's a big, huge project. I don't want to talk about it because I will get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but you need to consider the community because we've been, like you say, consultants from everywhere. Everywhere that they don't know the community. And we know what's going on in the community. We know the traffic, we know the streets, we know everything. But they're not the considerers. Oh, just wanted to say thank you, Supervisor Pan, for being part of BCDC. <coughs> so that's, you know, that's what it's all about, about Nuestra Casa and about inviting the community and environmental justice. That's what it is for us. Language access, education. Education, 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 not only for the community, but for us. And we will be working on that. So I just have one minute. I want to thank you. Uh, so thank you. <laughs>